So happy hump day. We're almost done with the week, people. Almost done. So I haven't done a video in maybe two weeks or so. It's been a really rough couple of days. Um, this is going to be a quick um, mainly plus size clothing haul. And this haul is probably about two weeks old. So I'll probably be just as surprised when I start pulling shit out as you are because I really good to, can't remember what's in there. So hopefully a, a better video will be in the works soon. So, but in the meantime, I wanted to show off because this is going to be my next um, batch to wash, dry, take pictures and catalog and hopefully it'll be up on eBay soon. That's the goal at least. And I have my Ikea bag. I try to take them as often as I can. This is a denim 24-7 top. It's size 22. It's blue and it has like a sheer, sheer hippie look to it. Let me see where I put that. This is Vince Camuto 3X. I don't think I have seen a plus size of Vince. So I was really happy to grab this. And it has like a really cool design to it too. So I really like it. This is a Foxcroft. This is a smaller size. This is a, an eight. And it's a floral, floral one. I do well look with Foxcroft. So I pick those up no matter what size they are. This is a new with tags, Maggie Barnes, like Mandarin inspired red top. And this one's a 2X. And Nitro just walked in. Nitro is my youngest baby that we recently adopted. He is almost two and he's a pixie bob. Um, this is One World 2X. It has sort of like a, a knit hockey feel to it. I really like the way it feels. This is a denim 24-7, 22W, like ivory, champagne, Victorian, long sleeve blouse. Has this really cool pleated, like, neckline. And forgive me if I'm not, like, super enthused or super hyper. I have a blasting headache, and I've had it since yesterday. So, we're dealing with that. A Tommy Bahama. This is a small, and it's a long sleeve fishnet knitted. Top. I love these because these totally remind me of summer on um, these types of, of tops and summer is I grew up in Puerto Rico so summer was year round uh, this is a torrid size zero so it's a large and it has like a gold skull printed up front I think this is Foxcroft this is a 20 W it's like a paisley Hot pink and brown. Oh, God, this bag is huge. I don't know if I'll be able to go through all of this. This is 41 Hawthorne. This is a medium. And it's just a navy solid top. Nothing, nothing too crazy. This is Kato, an 1820 W. Has that hacky feel, which I absolutely love. And then it has a like a lace cross in front. Lane Bryan 2628. It's like an abstract polka dot sheer top. Three quarter sleeves black and white. This is Chaps 3X. It's just a basic top but it is new with tags. It's a red with floral design short sleeved. Um, Liz and Me. This is a 3X like a yellow yellow and green peasant style top well not style but I guess the print reminds me of peasant style um, with the, the studs this is take two 1x just a basic knit top 
I don't, I really personally, I don't like these at all. I don't like the, the feel to it. I don't like the thickness of the, the fabric. I hate that they're all like shorter. I really, I really don't like this brand personally. But hey, if it sells. Uh, this is One World, One X. Has like that cotton, like crinkled cotton fabric. Striped abstract, totally adorbs. I don't know, people still use the word adorbs. Liz and Me 4X, this is just a basic top. Um, short sleeves with diamond, diamond print. This is Catherine's 4X. God, these have been in here for weeks already. So just a short sleeved knit top with a lace yoke on top. Catherine's 3X, I really like this top. But then again, I'm, I'm always partial to like black, white, and gray, and then pink. <laughs> but that was like a floral, tropical theme to it. And it has this really nice lace beaded pattern up front. Oh, this bag is huge. I don't think I'll be able to go through all this. Another Vince, two by Vince Camuto. It is a medium, it's a bright yellow, long sleeve solid, has the drawstring ties. Lane Bryan 2224, like a burgundy short sleeved sheer top, V neck. This is really cute. And now because I'm pregnant, I'm like shopping for me as well when I go out because I'm starting to really hate the clothes that I have now. So, Liz and Me, um, 1X, this is just a basic tank top, black, solid. It's not really plunging, it has the neckline up here, it's like a faux plunge, I guess. Sometimes you kind of just make shit up. This is Lane Bryan 22. Blue abstract, sleeveless top, has ruffles, and it's button front. Lane Bryan 2224. It's like a zebra print, polka dot type top. Like a, kind of have like, the, is it calf, calf can, captain? I hope that's one of the words like, that I, I, one of the tricky words that I have to fucking Google. But it has like those sleeves. Dana Buckman, extra large, long sleeve pink, pink, purple, I mean pink, purple, black, and gray. Like, it's sort of like an animal print circle top. Diane Von Furstenberg, is that how you pronounce it? It's a small silk, long sleeve top, has dragons on it. I think it's button, it's button up. I should have list, when I grabbed this one, I was going to list it for just in time for Easter, but of course. But I guess we're still spring, but this is a Bob Mackie. Um, looks like it's a three quarter sleeve pastel color floral top. And it's a large. One World 2X, another hacky style, three quarter sleeves, handkerchief, hemline, floral, has studs up front. I really love these. <laughs> this one I definitely need to wash and iron, possibly. Avenue 26, 28. Feels like this can't. Let me see what fabric this is. Ram. But it's like a like a silky feel rayon. It has like beaded collar line. And maybe it's just crinkled like that. I don't know. We'll see after we pull it out of the wash. 
This is a Lane Bryan. I may just keep this one. I think I got this one for myself. Um, it's just a tank top, and I think this one I did get for myself. It was only two dollars. And this one I got. This is a denim and supply from Mal Florin, size medium. It has like an Indian design on it. It's just a graphic tee, nothing really special, but it feels super soft. So that's my haul, and I'm sticking to it. Um, hopefully, I could do some more sourcing. Um, that's, again, like since January, like I don't want to say I've fallen into a funk because I was so gung ho in January, and then when I found out I was pregnant, I realized I was pregnant and why my exhaustion was really kicking in. Um, it was, it, it was rough and now it feels tricky to kind of get back into, into that same routine. So I'm trying, I'm trying really hard because I have tons of goals that I want to accomplish and they all require money. So, um, but thanks for watching. I hope to have you listed, um, Wednesday. I'll probably do a load of wash today once I get the tags off, but they all won't be listed by the end of the week. So between this week and next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll all be listed and I'll have another haul. More later. Bye. Thanks for watching.